there are certain things that happen when you're trying to design parts where they just come to you. You think about something, you live in it, you you understand it as good as you can, and then just out of the blue, ideas come to you. And it, it's hard to see, hard to explain, hard to control. It just involves a total immersion in the subject and enough background in the way the world works to be able to connect all the dots when, when you're in the right situation. And then you just hang out and it comes along. Bontrager was probably the least planned business ever. <laughs> if you, if you, if I tell, explained it to a, somebody who knew about business, they would just shake their head and say, "You had no business doing that. You know, you should you should have gone off to work for somebody." Because I'm not a business man, and I have no background in that. I just like to design parts, and and that was my approach to it. You know. My career prior to bicycling was in motocross, motorcycles, and road racing motorcycles. The first bike related part I made was a bike frame. And I made it for myself, custom frame. That involvement also led to the first actual um, aftermarket products that I made. The lightweight rolled rims and the, these forks that we made that wouldn't bend. Um, then and it took off from there. You can't be optimistic in engineering. You have to be brutally honest and skeptical. That's all of science and all of engineering is founded on those principles. There is a team spirit, there is a, a work hard ethic that, that is positive and optimistic that you have to have. But from the point of view of how things work, brutal, upfront honesty is the only way that gets things done. Optimism and engineering is a really, really bad combination.